Hey, uh, everyone, <laughs> to this uh, quick tutorial about optimizing and then modding any combat mission game, but specifically combat mission Battle for Normandy uh, today. As you can see, we're in the latest version, which is uh, 4.04. Uh, it is the Steam version of the game. Um, if you bought the game on Battlefront.com, by the way, you can get a, a free Steam key for uh, everything through the Sliverine website, I'm pretty sure. Um, we have all the DLCs, but you don't need to have all the DLCs. You can just mode and optimize the game with only just the base game. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is in-game settings, which is why we are here. Don't worry about sound, music and display size. We'll see this... Uh, well, we won't necessarily see it later, but... Um, vertical synchronization should be on off. Model quality should be on fast. Texture quality should be on best. Uh, Anti-aliasing should be on... On or off doesn't really change anything for me. I might for you. I Try this one and tell me which one works better for you. Tree detail should be definitely be on low because this is one of the biggest factor of lags. Um, some people say sh shaders should be on off. Uh, I leave them on on because it genuinely doesn't seem to change much for me, at least. Um, oh, we have a UI problem up there that I didn't see because they changed the yeah. What is it? Uh, options stay on options. Yeah, it's not really much of a problem. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for the, the in-game settings. Uh, now we're going to move on to the second step, which is changing one file in the game files. So if you have the game on Steam, you right-click, manage, browse local files. If it's not on Steam, you right-click on the icon, open file location, you'll end up in the same exact place. Um, and then you're looking for display size.txt, uh, which is in the, the root of the game. You open it up. Please, thank you. <laughs> Uh, and that's my recommended uh, resolution setting. This is 4K display resolution. And for some bizarre reason, it like gives you more performance than default like desktop resolution, which is probably full HD. Um, I don't know why. I don't want to understand why it doesn't seem to be making a lot of sense. But um, yeah, oh, and I'm just noticing... This is the refresh rate. I think I'm at 60 and not 144. It shouldn't do much uh, if you don't know your refresh rate. I'm at 60. I'm definitely not a, at a 144. But yeah, so resolution and then uh, refresh rate. If you don't know those, just put the same values I'm, I'm putting, which is 4K. If you have like a, a gaming rig, a decent computer, in other words. Uh, the next step in optimizing the game is 3D NVIDIA settings. Um, to access this, you go on your desktop, you do a right click, and then you do NVIDIA control panel. I'm guessing you can also type it in the uh, Windows uh, menu thing. We then go in program settings, in manage 3D settings, which should be the the thing you end up on the first time. So this usually takes a little bit of time. Here you go. And uh, you can do this for every, like the steps we've gone through up until now are are bound to the game engine basically. So you can you can do those with every single combat mission game you have. Um, so let's check that this is, it is the right one, Steam app. The things to change are 
anisotropic filtering time 16, anti-aliasing mode override any application setting, anti-aliasing anti setting in times 8, and then filtering, uh, texture filtering, uh, anisotropic sample optimization should be on off and negative LOD bias should be on clamp. I'm pretty sure by default. I don't know why it's showing as a... Well, it's a global setting anyway. No, it's not. Okay. Well, those two then also. And uh, you're basically done optimizing this game. It should run reasonably well now. All right, so now on to actually modding the game. Um, modding combat mission games in general is very easy. There's not a lot to do. Uh, my personal mod pack is based on the CMBN initial all-in-one, which is of course going to be in the description. Um, except I've cleaned it up in some respect. I've uh, removed some files that didn't work anymore because there's been UI changes in the new Steam update, for example. Um, modified some texture that I didn't like. For example, this uh, beautiful sandbag texture that I don't like uh, is replaced by a Juju's uh, sandbag mode. So yeah, I've modified some things from the all-in-one, but it's broadly speaking based on this. Um, but different, and in my opinion, a bit better, or at least a bit more to my taste. The biggest change is a foliage mode by pretty far. Um, but yeah, this will be in the description if you want to check it out, of course. All right, so now on to the actual installation, quote unquote, of uh, the mods and maps. It is very easy. In the master map campaigns, whatever I called it, battles folder, um, you have three subfolders. You are going to want to put in the root of your game, so on Steam. Oh my god. Uh, browse local files on Steam or uh, right click and uh, open file location if it's a desktop shortcut. Then you go in game files. And here you just copy everything in the corresponding folder. So everything that's in campaigns, you put in campaigns. I've already done it, as you can see. Everything that's in quick battle maps, in quick battle maps. Everything that's in scenarios, in scenarios. Um, and then, for the second folder, the Z folder, it's even easier. You don't even have to open it and go inside of it. You can just download the Z folder and drag and drop the entire thing into data, the, the way I've done it here, basically. Um, inside of the Z folder, I've sort of organized everything in three categories, which you can, of course, explore, uh, modify anything you want. For example, that's the paved roads uh, mods that I like. Uh, well, I'll let you explore, but that's basically it. Next time you launch the game, it's going to take approximately 15 times uh, the amount of time it usually takes because it's putting all of the mods in the RAM and uh, then you're good to go. So if we double click here, it will take a long time to launch, but uh, you'll see that it's definitely modded because the, uh, the menu is different, for example. You have way more missions, of course. Way more everything, really. Anyway, see you in-game. So as you can see, everything's modded. You have new models for basically everything, including the rights uh, insignias on the, the different uh, uniforms of the different units. The UI is completely revamped. So the bar looks like a bar. The M1 looks like an M1. Uh, it's great. It's all, it's all wonderful. You have new faces, new everything. Damn, that's a sharp looking setup right there. The bocage looks very 
good. There's no other ways of putting it. It just looks insanely good. And if you're if you live in Europe and you know you sort of know, I guess uh, European flowers and plants. This reminds me of what's pretty much outside my house in many ways. I mean, those white things that stink like hell. Well, like hell, no. But they kind of smell of piss. There's those everywhere, pretty much where I live. So yeah, a lot of more. That's with shaders off. It kind of looks like shit now, but... A lot more depth, a lot more variety to the bocage. Uh, all based on accurate, uh, like, European fauna. Fauna? How do you say it? I don't know. And it really does look super, super good. Uh, let's try and find a map with a vehicle. So, yeah, everything's retextured pretty, pretty much beautifully. It's the only way of, uh, of putting it. It looks as good as it's gonna, as it's gonna look. A lot of different helmets, a lot of different uh, uniforms again, and they look old and sort of uh, worn out, right? They don't look like new vehicles, which is sort of a problem with the base game that everything looks new. I mean, it's 1944, so the Kubo car is probably not uh, Kubo wagon. It's probably not going to be in pristine conditions, if you know what I mean. Pharmacy, the drugstore. Oh, there's like a weird... I see. But I mean, look at this. When you're inside the forest, you then understand what, why they can't see shit, because it's, uh, it's very cluttered the way it should be. Bocage and forests with this mod pack are really better in pretty much every single way. Everything's better. Like, this is a custom bridge, for example. This bridge doesn't look this good in the original game. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you uh, with that. Uh, that's the mode. That's the mode pack in... in action, I guess you'd say. Um, I hope you like it. It's my personal preference, but, uh, oh, look at this. Look how far you can zoom in the flowers. That is very cool. Yeah. No, that's, uh, that's cool. Anyway, it's going to be it for me. See you in the next one, guys.